well, Nasdaq is uh, uh, supposedly affected by this uh, options activity. We don't know the origin of that precisely. We can see the options behavior in the market. We don't know whether it was SoftBank, uh, which some in the press speculated, or uh, whether it, it is just a cumulated effect of retail investors. Um, the data that we've seen um, suggests that retail has increased dramatically as a percentage of, of the daily trading activity in the U.S. I think it's it's reaching up about 20 percent of the daily of the daily trade volumes, which is the highest number for the decade. Um, the the long only fundamental stock pickers like ourselves are about six percent. So we're a, we're in minority as price makers on a day-to-day basis. So the one big conclusion I draw from that is the price isn't very rational day-to-day. There's a lot of inefficiencies out there which we need to take advantage of. Uh, on the broader tech question, uh, the way we look at it at the Viva Investors, we, we, we're looking for uh, changes that are not fully priced in by the market. Understanding and technology is a very change-rich environment. There's lots going on. There's lots changing. But a lot of changes in this highly priced, highly valued uh, tech growth stocks are pretty well understood by the market. So, so we need to go a little bit further. It's like a more lateral implications of that trade, more second derivative implications of that of that change. Uh, like you said, sometimes look at the supply chain further further upstream and see if those changes are not fully priced in. I, was, um, uh, I can give you a few examples of that, but that's kind of that's extra effort we need to take to find opportunities in technology these days. Mika, let's get into those some of those opportunities because Tesla was one of the big moving stocks on Wall Street to the downside. We've seen uh, enormous moves in a short period of time. And you point to us that electric vehicles are still a solid play on the investment side. However, you pivoted us towards Volkswagen and clearly the, the German auto has had a very different trading pattern this year versus Tesla, the stock down 14% year to date. Just spell out why you think Volkswagen has been overlooked by some investors. Uh, yes, well, I think the, the change uh, around electric vehicles is very real. We're seeing acceleration on demand. We're seeing lots of new product launches. Uh, the percentage of uh, EVs in the European sales mix, for example, is going up and up and up. So we are going to be driving more and more electric vehicles over, over the years to come. Uh, but the interesting thing, I, I, if, if I can uh, step away from Volkswagen and just talk about the news of yesterday for a second, um, the Nikola General Motors deal for me is a very interesting illustration that Legacy uh, uh, traditional OEMs, traditional automakers, have really a lot to offer. I mean, effectively, uh, a disruptive startup is is using uh, General Motors technology both to assemble the vehicles and to power them through the through the battery technology and the electric drivetrain. Uh, so, I, I'm obviously GM was up yesterday on the news. Uh, Nikola was up a lot more. But for me, Volkswagen is very much in the same camp. Uh, this company invested a lot of money, more than most OEMs, if not any other OEM apart from Tesla, in electric vehicle platforms. They clearly had ID3 is, has launched now, ID4 is launching imminently. These are the flagship mass market electric vehicle products. This uh, this opportunity is not on the price for Volkswagen. You're paying five, six times earnings uh, based on the pre-COVID earnings metric. Uh, vast uh, contrast with uh, the valuations at which Tesla is trading.